and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade. Well, it's time for another wrestling game and what we're looking at here is probably the definitive arcade wrestling game. If you were going to the arcade in the early 90s or even the late 90s and you saw a wrestling game in the arcade, chances are this is the one you saw. This was around for so long, this game, it's ridiculous. This game was so popular and the fact that the graphics itself the licenses, the audio, the, just everything about it is fantastic. But what really blows me away is it's released in 1991. It's 26 years old. But I've reviewed and looked at lots of games on this channel. And a number of them are released after this game. And I'm absolutely stunned that a game that looks and plays this good was released in 91. That's crazy. When you think about um, some of the Street Fighter games that were released after this, and the other wrestling game we saw that was released just before this, an enormous jump. And there you are on the screen, 1991. But, bang on about the what I think of the game so far. Let's hear a little bit about it. Well, this is WrestleFest, the arcade game. It, uh, during the early 90s, that was when WWF, as it was known then, really took off. I mean, it was w a worldwide phenomenon. It wasn't even just America. We are talking the East, we're talking the UK, we are talking the world. Um, now, it was developed and published by Technos, um, there was numerous home ports created, but of course all of those went under different names and none of them had the beautiful quality of this game. A couple came down close though, but I think I've chatted for long enough. Let's get our hands inside the game, shall we? Let's get some credits inside. How about five credits for the win? And again, this is a four-player game, but of course it's just going to be myself today. Um, so let's, without further ado, get into it. So, we can go with a Royal Rumble or Saturday Night Main Event. Again... Let's let's start let's start low and go with that. And of course we're gonna go with Hogan and we're gonna go for a standard tag team. Now, my name's Robert, Jake the Snake Roberts. Can't resist, has to be done, has to be done. We've got the intro. It was one of the few wrestling games with an energy bar that was that prominent. Wrestling games have always people have had a, um, a love-hate relationship with wrestling games. Let's have a look. Is that the Legion of Doom? Nineteen ninety one, great audio, good music. Oh no. One thing I've always wondered about wrestling games, the control system, I've never understood it. Never. Eh, yeah, come on, Jake. The controls have always seemed terribly convoluted. Oh no, and they're coming into the ring. Now we have chaos. Now again, even that AI and that sort of thing happening, it's pretty impressive. Let's have a look. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, Hogan's taking a bit of a tumble there. Beautiful. Get some of those kicks in. Oh no. Now, come on, that must have been a pleasure to watch, because it was definitely a pleasure to play. I've never really been into WWF, as I say, but it has to be said, that was playable as hell. Right, so it's Million Dollar Man. Let's have a look. And they removed the intro. That was probably a good idea, because it would have got a bit repetitive. I really have to stop pressing that kick button there. Come on, Hogan. This isn't like that bizarre movie you've uh, made its way around the internet. This really matters. Oh, I think the game gypped me a little bit there, to be honest. I'm pretty sure the game made sure I didn't get up. My health is not looking great. I think I'm going to have to tag out. Can I get here in time? I don't think I can. Boom. Come on, Jake. Make me proud. Visually, the game is fantastic, isn't it? Look at the colour schemes. They've not wasted this licence at all. They've really gone to the trouble of making the most out of it. I will say one thing I'm not impressed by, the clock. I don't think there should be a clock. I get it. Arcades are, you know, about making money. I get that. Look. Oh, no, he got me. 
but at the same time, let's have a look. Oh no, oh no, get up, get up, get up. Arcades are about making money, I'll grant you, but at the same token, oh no. I think it's a bit appalling they've stuck a time limit on there, and also what happens when that time limit is over? Because I don't think this should be like Street Fighter and just count it. Oh, Hogan is not looking good. I think I. No, I don't want to tag him in, do I? Should have gone for the tag. Oh, no, we got there in the end. No, this is a fun game. I'd like to see this game in four-player. This may have to. We're going to do a whole series of videos on this channel of four-player games, uh, a lot of the Konami classics. But I would go as far as to say this is going to make the cut for me when we do the four-player games. Boom. Here we go. Next match it is. I almost want to intentionally lose this so we can do the Royal Rumble. Oh, we have a cage match as well. You see, this game just keeps on giving. I think even if you're, in, even in today of 2017, if you are into wrestling, this game has got a lot of qualities. Whoa! But the controls definitely are very convoluted. Do you know what I just realised there, which I'm rather disappointed about? The health doesn't regenerate. The health does not regenerate. And then all of a sudden my health's gone back up. Why is that? Okay. A little bit weird to think of that. I must, it must have let me use another whole credit. I'm not sure whether I like that or not. Because I've made my way through a credit just for the game. Let me do that. That almost flies in the face of the entire dynamic of the game. Oh no. No luck there. Should have guessed. But it's nice to see touches like the cage match. And the characters' names being uttered. Um, the colour scheme. Even the ref. The ref must have been just the tiniest bit of extra work for the memory in the game. So it must have its own, even primitive AI. Oh, are we going to get it? Oh my god. A kaboom. Right, oh no, he's not going to let me have that, is he? No, I'm superbly impressed by this so far. Oh no, come on, Hogan. Don't let this fool choke hold you. Oh no, wasn't going to let me have it. Again, I should mention this game only has two buttons for control. It only has a punch and a kick button, and somehow almost all the moves in the game are performed by the usage of those two buttons. There's almost no um, reference to using controls within the game. Now, again, I've just checked there. I think that's pretty appalling. If you press the credit button at any time, you can pay an extra credit to get that extra bar of health. <coughs> Call me crazy, that feels cheap. I'm not a fan of that. And we win. But what a hollow victory. I used a, an extra one of those credits. Me personally, I think that was a very low win on my behalf. Sixteen bit cartridge. Nice. And oh, here we go, leading the dune. I presume there's some form of boss or sub boss. Come on, what can Hogan and Jake, come on. Oh no, that was a terrible time to try and accidentally go for the pin there. Oh no, ooh, I'm going to have to try and do me one of them. I genuinely don't know how to win at that. Tag in Jake. Where is Jake Snake? There we go. Fantastic. Oh, 
Ooh. Got a tag, got a tag, got a tag. Get the hell up. See, a lot of the signature moves from the original WWF uh, phenomenon sport, what are we going to call it, not a TV show, but a lot of those sort of qualities are maintained throughout the game, I'm told. I quite like the audiences as well. The audiences in this are better than WrestleMania, the game we played on the channel a little while ago. Oh no, this isn't looking good. Come on, Hulk. I am going to need Hulk to get out of the ring so I can tag. Oh no, it could be curtains. Sad stuff, I could have used the credit, but no. I let that get me through the last round, but that would only be poor sportsmanship to have used the credit there. So, we'll let that time out, we'll give you some of the trivia, because let's face it, this game has got some great stories behind it, a lot of them do, and I've done a little bit of research and I can tell you some more. So once again, it was released in 1991 in June, uh, of all things, so it was getting ready for the summer market, half term, that sort of thing. People began on holiday, seeing the arcade machine, and just feeding in the coins. Um, once again, published and developed by Technos, and the game itself were utilized a CPU of 6800 series, and a Z80, which um, had a great chip on board for sound, and that CPU was quite bespokely made for this situation. This isn't an arcade that can be very easily redistributed to other systems. Now, if you look at the bottom right of the screen there, you can see the arcade cabinet there. Four sticks, all coloured, two buttons per piece. So, the, the arcade game itself was made for multiplayer, but unlike Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Final Fight and Alien vs Predator and all of those games we've discussed on the channel that were multiplayer in the arcades, this one was 2v2 with that tag system. This was an absolute smash at the arcades. When this was fully populated, the crowds were enormous around it. It was not a cheap game. I believe it was one of the first games that I ever saw where a, a, every single play was 50 pence or a pound, which was astronomical back then. Um, now, only this is the only WWF uh, Technos game not to feature any of the theme music of the wrestlers. As much as they kept in the names, the poses, the moves, the signature logos, all of that stuff, for some reason they weren't able to bring even a low-rent 8-bit version of the music. The music they've got is very, very good, but it's one of the few failings about this game. The other one of the reasons this game's weird is it's changed one of the rules in Royal Rumble. We'll, we'll play Royal Rumble in a moment. And in the WrestleFest version of Royal Rumble, uh, a person can be eliminated, not just from tapped out on the mat, but also if they're thrown out of the ring. Now, in the real Wrestle um, the Royal Rumble, that doesn't make a difference whether you're thrown out of it. But the only way to be eliminated is being thrown over the top rope in Royal Rumble. So it does seem to be a little bit frowned in the face of changing the rules mid-game. Now, on top of that, all the characters you can see are there on the screen, but you can't play as the Legion of Doom. People thought they were hacks, they were cheats. There was even rumours at the time that there was some sort of code that you could do in the game where you could play as the Legion of Doom. But over and over again, you have to be told they've gone through the ROM files, they've gone through every stitch of this ROM. It is not possible to play as the Legion of Doom, even though everyone wanted to then, and apparently everyone wants to now. On top of that, um, the game itself... The actual WWF Tag Team Champions at the time of release were the Nasty Boys, aka Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sags, who were absent from this game. And a lot of that is to do with the production time of the game, because this would have been developed almost a year prior to release. It was actually quite a long time for an arcade game. Me personally, I think it polished up quite nicely. But um, because of that, the champions, the end boss, so to speak, that were the, the Beastie Boys, um, uh, well, we're sorry, the Nasty Boys were not in the game and therefore not having them on there, that was one of the chief complaints because people wanted to face up against these two people who were not in the game. And lastly, the US version of the game, I don't know if you noticed at the beginning, maybe it'll flash on the splash screen if we let this count out. Um, the Winners Don't Use Drugs, uh, signed by the director of the FBI. Um, that, oh no, let's get that in there, wallet, wallet, wallet. There we go. Uh, the director of the FBI there. This is one of the first games ever in the arcades to feature that. Something we've just gotten used to over after all of this time. It was one of the first games to finish the Do Not Use Drugs. Listen to this music.
it's quite awe inspiring. I quite like it. I imagine in an arcade when this was pumping on full volume in 1991, this would draw you in. A lot of crazy colours too. So there we go. Let's go for it. It's time for the Royal Rumble. Who are we going to be in the Rumble? I think I'm going to have to be the Ultimate Warrior. And of course, anyone who doesn't know, the Royal Rumble is pretty much what it says on the tin. It is mania. And the fact that they created a game where this was possible is fantastic. As mentioned earlier on, the fact that the Royal Rumble in this can be ended uh, or you can be tagged out is something that's missing from the real Royal Rumble. Let's have a look. Are we getting, oh, we've got no hit detection there. Oh no, ooh, not good, not good. Oh, slightly worried he was going to get me out of the ring there. Oh, there's Jake the Snake out the door. He's gone. Choke him out, choke him out. Ooh. Is the game going to let me count him out? No, apparently not. Oh no, is he going to get me out of the ring? No, he isn't. Things are getting incredibly chaotic. Once again, I can only imagine this in the arcades at the time. I look forward to doing the four player on the channel as soon as possible. I will have to learn how to throw these people though. Now, is the game going to try and prevent me? Yes, of course it is. Whew. Oh no. Beastie Boy signature move there. Oh no, no, no. And we're off. Okay, we've lost someone. Oh, I could use the credit to get extra health, but no, I want to see this through legitimately. Could not tap that button harder if I tried. And there we go. Is that Ra the Macho Man Randy Savage? I don't know. Oh no, so close, so damn close. Once again, isn't the music compelling? I think I'm gonna have to try and pin this fella to see if the game will let me. I don't know why they're all standing still. Gotcha. Okay, and then there were, oh no, the Legion of Doom are entering. Oh no, this. Is the game gonna let me have this? Oh my God, I lost a second just because this game wanted to be lazy. And the second half of the Legion of Doom, it's me against these two fellas again, but this energy bar does not promise well. One, th one person I am missing in this is The Undertaker. What a shame. I was thought The Undertaker pretty much a staple of wrestling. Woo. This makes very interesting gameplay. I'm sorry if it's not as interesting to watch as it is to play. Uh, I think I uh, know way I'm going to get the full three seconds, no way. For those that have forgotten who I am, don't blame you. I'm playing as Ultimate Warrior there at the top in the green. I think I'm trying to get one of the... Yeah, it's way too early. It's a shame you can't see the opponent's health. I do think that's a little cheap, not giving you that, that functionality. Ooh. Spine breaker. Come on, Warrior. combated oh time is over see to me that felt insanely cheap the fact that I got timed out there but there you have it that is Wrestlefest
great little game there. Once again, winners don't use drugs, don't forget. If you really enjoyed that video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you want to see any other games on the channel, do pop it down there in the comments. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm just going to fade out on this music.